The people's right to self-govern is being threatened. New developments today in another battle over those controversial red light cameras. Residents of Baytown who fought to turn those cameras off got their wish, but in the end, their vote doesn't matter. And that's what's got so many so upset. Welcome to Live at Five, everyone. I'm Art Rasco. And I'm Melanie Lawson. Last November, residents of Baytown voted to remove red light cameras from intersections all across their city. Sound familiar? Oh, yes, it does. And while ultimately the cameras did get turned off, their vote on the issue is being tossed out. It's par part of a settlement between the city and the red light camera company. Eyewitness News reporter Katie McCall live in Baytown with this story. I'm sure there are some outraged folks there. Plenty of people mad about this one, Art and Melanie. Good evening to you. The company that operated these red light cameras called ATS agreed to shut them off for a million dollars from Baytown's taxpayers. But part of the deal threw out an anti-camera ordinance and that has a lot of people seeing red. When red light cameras came to Baytown in 2008, drivers had mixed reviews. It really didn't matter to me one way or the other. I think they ought to rely on the police department to patrol the traffic. In a special election last November, 58% of Baytown voters cast ballots to get rid of them. By January, they were shut off. But yesterday, the city agreed to pay the camera operator, American Traffic Solutions, a million dollars for ending its contract. And as part of that settlement, the special election that made these cameras illegal is nullified, which means this court order erases all of those votes. This does away with everything that we've done in the last two years to make sure that the citizen's voice was heard on this issue. Byron Schoenbeck led the petition for the ordinance. He's angry that future city councils could bring back the cameras and that the camera company has won more than just the citizen's tax dollars. This also goes to the benefit of the camera company who does not want the people to vote on this issue because every time this issue has come up for a vote, they lose. 